So we're about to install the Lamp Speed H13 Street Series head studs so that we can push higher boost through that turbo. So you're getting the head studs ready? Yep. So have you pulled the current ones out or you just put that grease on first? Do one at a time. Yep. I'm not pulling the head off, so we're just going to do one start at a time. Yep. Um, two different sizes is uh, 11 mil and uh, 12 mil. Yep. Lithium grease. Mm -hmm. Stops any binding of the thread. Torque up the M12s to 128 newton meters and the M11s to 108 That's newton meters. In about three stages. Cool. And then we'll check them again after an hour. What they recommend. Thanks, Charles. So where are all the head studs? Head okay, studs. so we've got one, two, yeah. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And there's obviously two different sizes, the 11 mil and 12 mil. Yep. I would say, we'll have a look anyway, but the two out of here and two out of here will be 11, mm -hmm. and these will be 12s, the middle ones. Okay. But I will check. Yep. Obviously, there's a pull on out. So here are the head studs, which we're about to swap over. Heads, the, like the nuts on the head studs. Yep. What thread are they? It kind of looks funny. The thread? It's, oh no, the heads, the the heads head. are multi- It's like a star. Yeah. So you can <sighs> grip, grip really well. You undo it. All right, you pop that out. Now, what we need is a magnet. Put it under there. Yep. <laughs> the stock M12. But have an Allen key slot in the top. Okay. So you can wind them down with an Allen key. Well, these don't have, and it looks like obviously this longer end with a little dick sticking out mm. goes down. But you got so to make that, sure that, that bottoms that, out then on the. Yeah, you got to make blocks. sure that it goes all the way down. Yeah. So I've got to work out a way of doing it because there's not much room there. And you got to make sure they go down all the way. So yeah, so it needs an Allen key hex, doesn't it? At the well, top. it needs something at the top to wind them down. Some of them have a thing like that sticking down up. There's a Torx head on it. Yep. So you can put a socket on it and wind it down. So here, you, you, you're struggling to now wind it down. Put your washer on, put one nut down, just on, past the thread a little bit, not a lot down, but wind the other nut on top, like that, then wind the whole thing in. Just gotta go and get the socket, because they're, they're not 12 mil, they're actually um, half inch. The nut size? The, the new nuts. Yeah, that's 12 mil. Yeah, doesn't work. Doesn't work. 13 mil's too big, half inch fits. So we wind that down. You've got to make sure that it goes well past, the thread goes past the head. And I'd imagine that would go and stop, but I'm not sure whether it does or doesn't. Oh, it does. Okay, well, that's good. So that's a good thing. Bolt in till it stops. And it has the washer head hasn't hit yet. You want to go down, but not tighten the crap out of it either. And then crack your, your nuts off. And hopefully that's nipped up, which is good. Now you've got to take the top nut off without taking the bottom one off. Studs in all the way. Has gone down far enough into the thread. You want to be able to utilize as much as you can of the um, of the thread down the bottom to lock into the block. Yep. You don't want to leave the stud hanging out. So what's your first setting at? 80. Yeah. M11s go to 108. But it's the washer grabbing. But it's the washer grabbing, yeah. So you gotta make sure you're going far So enough. if you turn yeah. it I, I, so many degrees, yep. then you know you've got that stretch on the bolt. Right. Whereas okay. doing it with a torque, it's not always exact because of friction. Yep. So you got the heavy machinery in. Yep. Beautiful. Oh no, well the, the end ones are the 11 mil ones, but the head of the bolt is 12 mil on these. Okay. The factory ones. And the 12 mil on the middle ones too. The diameter changes. So we we'll take that one off, take your bolt out. See how far it went into the into the block. Should be able to measure how far that actually went down. But it doesn't matter anyway. Until it unwound. You can see how far it went in the block, look. There. That's how far it screwed into the block, the factory bolt. Okay. So you're not From using all the, start, all the thread? Well, I don't know how much thread's in there. Yeah. Well, this thread here you're not using, no. no. Beautiful. That went down. I didn't think it would, but it did. First to 80 newton meters. Then you get Jake's big one at 108. 108 newton meters. That's it. We'll try to get it in as much as we can, so yeah. make sure there's enough bite of them down the bottom there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see if we can get the back one off next. Let's see if that back pump can stay on. I don't want to damage it, is it? Needs to come off? Oh uh, yeah, it gets in the way, I don't want to damage it. Okay. So to get to that rear head stud, 
I need to take off the vac pump. Now with the vac pump removed, it's a bit easier to work on and get that head start out. The thread actually, on the first nut, when you put a nut on, it's got the thread down in the blocks because it's so nice and clean and... Yeah, it's going in Yeah, there's more friction the on the nut. Yeah, there's yeah. more friction on the nut here than the actual thread down the bottom. Mm -hmm. So if you keep winding it down, working it, you can actually get it down. You can tell by the length of the, what's sticking out. Yes. It kind of works. Let's see, now it comes to a stop, so you work it because otherwise the thread, then the nut starts turning down then. Mm -hmm. That's definitely far enough anyway. Well, it's down far enough. The main thing is you don't have too much thread sticking out. Yep. So if you look at it, mm -hmm. that's some of the studs. That's, that's the same amount of bolt thread in the block as the studs taken. You know what I mean? That's Holes silly there. little things like that yeah, you gotta be there. careful of, but. And there for oil of return, which things can fall down, so block them up. To machine that stud down to give it a smaller head on it, the same as the 11, it's just costlier. Gotcha. Okay. That's all. So on the M12s, the four inners, we're doing to 128 newton meters. about an hour and we'll recheck the tensions on the head studs to make sure they're still okay. 128? 128. Yep. 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 128. Yep. 128. Yep. 128. Yep, 108, 108. on the M11s on the outside. One, two, that one went a little bit actually. Yeah. And take an exhaust cam upgrade. So the Kelford cams here, the type A going in. Or as we can still tune these on the Ecutech. 